Uh, so this is the first first part part in what I will be calling some type of battery school, uh, where I teach you stuff on how to build batteries. Uh, I do some of these videos for my employees that are not listed, uh, but there is one thing uh, that I hope to clarify, and that is that if you're a good solderer, you maybe do not need soldering tabs. Soldering tabs is really good so that you solder away from the cells so you don't damage them. It looks more professional, uh, but there's a lot of more extra work and you have pieces of metal that is hanging out that can loosen and can break and can stop the battery from working. But if you have a good soldering iron, uh, like Haku, and you have good fast melting solder. Um, I'm testing a lot of new one, but this is um, uh, zinc 63% and the rest is lead. And I think it's 3% three, 3 flux, one millimeter. And then you can solder really fast. And the best position to solder is between the cells. Then you're actually soldering uh, about plastics. And these are not connected to the cells uh, electrically or um, uh, with heat from around here. So you're actually soldering one centimeter from the cells, uh, at least from the connection, because over here there is air between. So if you have a soldering tab that goes out here or that just go over here, it doesn't really matter that much. But you have to be fast. You cannot spend 10 seconds heating it up or you will transfer 400 degrees Celsius to the cells and that's not good. But you re really fast, put the solder down on the strip and, and you're done in one second. And it's not hot over here. It's not even, you can't feel any, anything. I was gonna do this with the temperature probe, but none of our multimeters actually had a temperature uh, temperature output sensing. So we have to order new to even more uh, unity to be able to test temperature. So, but I will put my finger over here and solder right next to it. So you can see that cells are not even getting hot. And this is really, really hard. Never done this before. Nope. My finger got a little hot, maybe up to 50 degrees. But when you spot welding with a spot welder, it will be, <laughs> it will be 50 degrees or even more. Uh, so it's no big problem if you're fast, but if I were slow, if I would have taken five seconds, then I would have burned my hand. So you're not even heating them up to 50 degrees and that's no problem. I like to do them between the positive and the negative. And if, if you're good at this, this is no problem. You save time, you save space, and there is absolutely no harm to the battery cells or whatever. And this holder actually has a, a groove just between the cells. So it's perfect to lay the cell over here. Which finger am I gonna offer? Yeah, like this I can do. I don't use the finger for anything more than giving my fucks to Dr. Randy. And uh, that one didn't even get hot. So try to do it in one second or less. You will have really nice, really cool batteries. You save a little time and a little space and a little nickel. You can see how close I am. I'm exactly over the spot weldings. And you can do it in one second and the wire should be, it should not be visible. It should disappear completely in this blob. Then you have a really nice, good connection that cannot loosen. I'm gonna keep my fuck you finger here. That's usually reserved for Dr. Andy. 